what I like about what they do is it's unpredictable, including that pass. <laughs> unpredictable indeed. Winston Tabs with a takeaway, and Tabs, who scored 13 and a half per game in the first two for BC, has the first two. Here's a freshman, Makai Ashton Lankford. As a three for Jay Heath, the sophomore. Cole with the ball right now. And Cole in and out on a three-point try. Mitchell grabs the rebound. Off to a hot start, too. Averaging 20 a game his first couple games. That's not really what you have to do. St. John's going to give you opportunities, but they're going to force the tempo. If you get comfortable with the tempo, as right now Boston College is, you're going to get open looks. And C.J. Felder grabs the rebound. He has really impressed in the bubble, the sophomore Felder. On the drive, Winston Tabs and B.C. is getting to the basket at will. But they're happy to have Champagny back. Felder with an early six points, wow. and Felder drills a three right in front of Isaiah Moore, who's got a 7-6 wingspan. Boston College is getting easy shots to get to the basket, and when you get to the basket, defense has to over-rotate. Get these looks. Felder with a rejection. On the look for Marcellus Erlington, and BC comes away with it. Let me think of Rutgers, right, and Piscataway. Steve Peichel said, I gotta get guys that wanna be here and come in with something to prove, it. and you've got that in Posh Alexander. He's got a lot to prove, and he's got a big chip. Here's Toro, and a high-flying rebound to Winston Tabs. Tabs drew the contact from a Daiwuso and finished through it. Here's a three for Heath. Heath got it. He should have fallen down. I don't know how he didn't lose. He stayed, in, he stayed with the play and contested the shot. Got it right out and threw it ahead. Scott off the feed from Heath, and BC breaks the press definitely. Champagny off the inbound. Offensive rebound, Moore. Moore is rejected. And here is the Providence transfer, Makai Ashton Langford. And he lost it. He's playing at a little different pace. He's got a little slower rhythm to his game. I think that's what has allowed him to knock down some shots. Felder gets one to go. Ends a 13-0 Boston College run. Are you having fun? This is a delight to watch. <laughs> With no dog in the fight. Yes. I mean, yes. if you're a BC fan, you're pulling your hair out. But and I talk about every time you play, you are marketing your program. You're going to get kids, whether they're transfers right out of high school or what, that just want to play this way. 0.9 point per game score as a freshman last year. Mitchell, nice extra feed. Jay Heath knocks down a triple his third of the game. Like I said before, the St. John's defense at times seems to be playing like defense from behind. And again, BC feels good. Been really well run. If you want a game, I'm just going to put this out there. If you need a game, come here. We've got a couple days left. Yep. Jay Heath hits the jumper. And I'm happy to talk about you for 40 minutes. It's good. Looks like there is some young, sustainable yeah. talent on this team. But look, you don't need to get New York guys. I mean, that's kind of a false narrative, right? You need to get the New York kids to win. You need to get the right New York kids. And Posh Alexander's one of them. He's, a right, he's one of the right guys. It's got to fit the style, it's got to fit the system, and it's got to fit the identity of what you want to be. Alexander committed first, and then he worked on recruiting his high school buddy. Nice reverse from Rich Kelly, who scored the last four for BC. This is something people get excited about. And the question is, can you win at a high level playing this way? I think that's the challenge. Like, a lot of coaches would say, well, you can't win a championship this way. Mitchell a three, and he got it. Stephon Mitchell, first bucket of the game. Six, seven. And <laughs> when the game was played. <laughs> C.J. Felder a chance for three, and it, they were they were collectively flexing early. Yeah. Offensive rebound, Mitchell. Oh my! This could be a five-point possession for BC. Vander loses the ball. Mitchell's on the deck. Tabs picks it up. Williams snatches it back away. And then Williams throws it away. Ashton Lankford. CJ Felder with a slam. 12 in a row for Boston College. Trap. And scramble. Ashton Lankford. Ashton Lankford scoops it home, making 14 straight for the Eagles. Visions of grandeur after that Grant Williams slam. 
And now Plastra is trying to do too much. Mitchell absolutely takes it away. Is Illinois this year? They're very good. They've got good balance. Uh, Kofi Coburn down low is incredible. Wow. Oh, that goes the second Kelly. one where he's gone to the opposite side and has gotten that to go a little English off the glass. But the game is likely won by the guard matchup, as most of college basketball is. But we'll be paying attention to the game down low. And Kelly has gotten going. Not close. You see down 15, three and change to go. Aston Lankford, wow. a crazy spin and score. St. John's is a team, 22 assists, nine turnovers, terrific ratio. Aston Lankford all alone, and he cans a three. You're building every single year. You have experienced players, you have a good year. You experienced players leave, and you got young guys, you may struggle. Tabs off the takeaway, 10-point game, timeout, Jim Christian. Kelly, look out. Got hit, no foul in the hands of Tabs. And he hits a three, Winston Tabs, five-point game. Winston Langford's lost the dribble, Heath comes to help him out. Basket makes this a one-possession game. Heath sticks it in. Ten in a row for Boston College, it's a three-point game.